What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management Channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm gonna be doing an update uh, on Baba Stock. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack, born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on. And on today's uh, video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart and how we get there. Then we'll continue with the fundamental news and I will show you what the news might be the catalyst for this asset for upcoming weeks. And at the end of this video, I will share my thoughts and my technical analysis. And I will show you the most detailed uh, forecast uh, for this asset for upcoming months. So let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video right here at this point uh, and I've told you, let me show you more thoroughly, that this asset uh, had a very, very good bounce out of uh, $70 mark. And uh, this movement to the upside uh, might be the uh, beginning of a new uptrend. Because first of all, it has a double bottom pattern that is by itself uh, is a very strong bullish sign. Then it broke the range of resistance that I drew previously. And it is the range of, uh, it is the lower border of this channel that was quite indicative for this asset. Then it broke another range of resistance, this uh, line that I drew back in the days, and uh, it is the line of support and resistances from previous price actions. And uh, it had a very good volume during this movement to the upside, and uh, it uh, retested and uh, broke uh, these ranges uh, with the second attempt. All these signs show us that we might see the trend reversal. And in general, this asset he was in a quite consistent downtrend from the beginning of August. And we have to see this movement. So, what is the reason of its price action? First of all, I have to say that it is in anticipation of their first dividends ever. And let me remind you that it is the annual dividends that was disclosed on their recent earnings report. And yes, it is not uh, the best uh, decision if you compare it, for example, uh, with the buyback program. But in general, it is better than nothing, especially if you take a look uh, on its uh, uh, major movement to the downside. On top of that, uh, the total sentiment uh, of the market is quite bullish because uh, everybody is anticipating the, the easing of uh, Federal Reserve policy. On top of that, uh, we can see the easing uh, of uh, Chinese Communist Party policy in regards uh, to the uh, major tech companies. And all of uh, this news uh, was uh, the reason of its uh, movement to the upside, during which this asset uh, gained uh, about 9% uh, uh, to its value. And uh, for now, it is hovering right above the range of support. But everything from the technical standpoint I will show you in just several minutes. And for now, let's continue with the fundamental news. I have to say that uh, we have uh, several news uh, that uh, shows uh, uh, that uh, inside Alibaba we have a lot of uh, changes. So, what's going on with Alibaba stock Thursday? And this article was published on December 21st. And it says... Uh, uh, Alibaba stock is trading higher Thursday as it replaced Trudy Day, a founding partner with CEO ID Wu as the head of its uh, core Chinese e-commerce platforms Tmall and Taobao. The move marked uh, Alibaba's strategy to recover from recent challenges, including uh, intensifying competition from PDD Holdings. Alibaba is now focusing on recovering its position in cloud and e-commerce. And uh, we know that uh, a lot of people, and uh, myself as well, are anticipating a huge breakthrough in their cloud uh, service. And we know that uh, uh, back in March, I guess, uh, they disclosed uh, the plans uh, to uh, make a spin-off uh, to basically divide uh, the entire Alibaba holding to six different companies. One of them uh, should be the cloud uh, service. And uh, this uh, might be the main beneficiary of uh, Alibaba's current business with the highest potential among all other branches. And uh, unfortunately for now, we don't have any information uh, in regards to this spin-off. And on top of that, uh, the cloud service of Alibaba by itself uh, didn't show uh, an amazing results uh, uh, in uh, the Q3 of uh, this year. And uh, I have to say that uh, we have uh, another news that is directly uh, related to uh, their cloud service. Let me show you this. 
Alibaba chief takes direct control of under pressure Chinese e-commerce business. New group CEO Adi Wu is now chief executive for, of cloud and online retail divisions in latest restructuring. So I have to say that uh, this uh, news uh, came out of the blue and uh, not so many people was expecting for this news. And that is why we don't have uh, a major movement to the upside uh, that is based on the internal Alibaba's news. Despite quite a promising forecast and despite quite uh, impressive results uh, in their last earnings report. And uh, in general, if you take a look uh, on the consensus analyst price target, we still have uh, about 69.41% of upside potential with the price target of $129.2 mark. And if you take a look uh, on the list of uh, their major institutional investors who has the highest number of shares, uh, all of them, let's uh, take a look on the first 10 uh, of uh, these companies, and uh, all of them increased, almost all of them increased their position uh, for the last uh, four months. From the beginning of September, all of them increased uh, except uh, one company, uh, First Eagle Overseas Fund Class A. They didn't do anything with their position. And uh, one company, iShares MSCI Emerging Markets ETF, uh, slightly reduced its position by 3.34%. Uh, but the overall position is still uh, more than uh, seven, uh, $615.7 million. And this means uh, that uh, all of uh, this smart money, they want to see the price uh, of Alibaba much higher. That is why they hold uh, their position pretty strong. So, and uh, let's continue with the technical analysis. But before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So in general, guys, we are still uh, almost at the same spot uh, where we were previously. Uh, when I made my previous video, the price was exactly at this level at $74.5 mark. And I've told you that because of uh, this price section that uh, potentially has uh, the completed five wave structure in it, we have to see the retracement, and if I pull the fiber retracement tool from its uh, bottom to its uh, top, we hit only 0.382, which is uh, the confluence with uh, the, with this uh, line of support at roughly 73.3 dollars mark. And uh, my main assumption was that uh, if you want to enter your position, you uh, can accumulate it all the way down with the stop loss uh, slightly below its uh, previous bottom, 70 dollars mark. And uh, you can uh, accumulate it uh, all the way down uh, to this level of about $71.9 mark, which is a golden pocket range. And uh, if it goes to this level, uh, your upside potential should be quite impressive because we have to break all the previous swing highs and it might be in the medium term perspective up to 22%. But in general, if you take a look, uh, if you zoom out to daily time frame and take a look uh, on its... Uh, uh, general uh, price action from this swing high, uh, you can see that uh, we are at extremely low levels and uh, this means uh, we might see the most probable outcome that is uh, the movement to the upside. So I think that's all information that I want to provide you. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack. Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack. Baby, I'm bad. I just want to get caught up in this life. I'm crazy, I'm bad. Doing no cap. Only God wants you.